As you can probably hear, this pump is starting to fail. Uh, it's time to replace it. I got the new one sitting down here. And a couple interesting things. Uh, first of all, the new one has exactly the same electrical specs except it pumps twice as much water per minute. So they've made them more efficient. This one's about four years old. So in the last four years they've uh, doubled the efficiency. That's good. But I'm going to do a teardown on this and see why it's uh, why it's making so much noise. I'll uh, switch the pump over so you can hear the new one. And it's almost inaudible on the uh, on the video. And for a quick compare, this is the new one running. Okay, so let's get to it. Let's uh, take the old one apart and see what's going wrong with it. I've already loosened the head. I'm on the back porch today so you'll hear the birds and neighbors and whatever. Um, so we'll loosen the head. You can see it's just a there's an electric motor. Uh, the shaft has a flat on it here which joins up with that thing right there. And this spins around. Let's see if I can get this head open. I don't know why this failed. Here's a valve. It's just a rubber flappy valve and I see why it failed. The rubber's rotting. Okay, so there's three valves. There's one here, one here, one here, and then there's a center valve. Yep, there we go. Lots of water. And yeah, all the rubber valves are rotting, so it was starting to make some strange noise. Uh, motor sounds perfectly good. First I thought it was the motor that was failing, but it's not. And what happens is when the motor turns, there's just a, a swash plate and it moves these pistons up and down and pumps water. And of course uh, water gets sucked in here and then the rubber valve seals it and then it squirts it out through the center and it just keeps doing that. So yeah, this one is three years old, it pumped a, uh, a ton of water every day, cubic meter of water every day. Okay, let's look at some of the other parts. This is the upper housing. It's black so it doesn't show very well, but if you look, the water comes in here and enters this part of the outer, this part of the chamber. This circular part is a separate piece, but it enters this outer part of the chamber and then it squirts, it comes out under pressure and exits through this side. And that's all there is to it. So you have these three chambers pumping away fast and furiously. And that's all there is to this pump. It doesn't produce a lot of volume. It's uh, supposed to produce two liters a minute, which I've timed it. It does pretty much that. And this just seems to be a uh, bubble of uh, air release. Air release, so. Okay, so we've seen the upper part. Let's look at the... Uh, Let's look at the motor. This is a brushed DC motor and I've just unscrewed the, the uh, carbon brush cap. Take these out of here. Eh, that's still in reasonably good shape. Ah, this, one, this one seems to have been cross-threaded at some point. I've never opened it, so I assume it was done from the factory. Yep, yeah, that one's okay too. And the bottom is is a separate piece, but if I look up here, there's two screws. I'll go loosen those, and my guess is they're long screws that run down here and and fasten into there. Okay, let me go do that. I'll be right back. I've got these two long screws taken out. You can see some rust around here. The pump was leaking because again the rubber was decaying and allowing water into the pump. But the pump was running just, the motor was running just fine when I took it out of service. You can see there's a lot of carbon in there. And yeah, there's a lot of brush wear but still I think it would uh, have quite a lot of life left in it. And the brush armature, eh, not a lot of wear on it. I don't feel a lot of wear on it. And there are the two long screws and some pretty heavy duty permanent magnets. If I can pull it out of here on camera. Oh yeah, it's 
Them some good magnets. Wah. Okay. So there's some nice magnets. I'm not sure how to get them out of there. Might have to dissolve that glue and see how that goes. But armature looks like it's in fair shape. I don't see a lot of water on this side. Got a little bit there, but not too terrible. So I might be able to use this DC motor as a DC motor or uh, as a generator. So, yeah, that would be uh, kind of cool. Okay, well that was it for today. Just this uh, pump teardown. Hope you found it useful and interesting in your home DIY projects.